Yeah, good day guys. Welcome back to the Cool Graphic Design Training. I believe we're doing great today. So right now I want to I want us to learn from this uh uh church uh spiritual gathering flyer design on our Android smartphone using our PC lab. So I want you guys to watch from beginning to the end so that at least you'll be able to uh at the end of this uh tutorial you can be able to uh design any kind of related flyer like this so without wasting much of, of our time let's get started so the first thing let's bring the background which we want to use so take it for instance i want to use this particular background so i don't need to cut it we're using it in full so after that bring in the logo we want to use to so take it for instance we are using the uh, the church of pentecost and this is just for tutorial alone so after that we are going to uh bring in this particular shape at uh, this particular corner so after that has been done then we go into the text very sharp then we just put come join us come join us come join us then which font are we using? We want to use a popping. We have a font called poppings. So the slant one. So we have a popping font. The slant one we do. So we look at look for the one that has somehow ticks, but not to ticks. Okay, it will be uh, cool to use. So after that we reduce the size. Then we close the space in between it. Okay, a little bit. So after that has been done, all we centralize it. Either we we'll cool. So let's centralize it. Then we we'll close the space a little bit. So once that has been done, then we go into the font. I mean, to the color. Then we we'll change the color to white. So once this has been achieved, then we will find our way of putting it at the exact part here. Once that has been done, then we close the space in between it a little. Then we use uh, the position icon to control everything. Once that has been done, so after putting that there, then we'll go to the text area. Then we'll type spiritual gathering, okay? Spiritual gathering. So let's type the spiritual first. Then we'll go to the font and select font called Galuk. Galock, okay. Galock font will be the first. We say glue, glue. Uh, I mean the Glock, Glock font. Sorry, Glock font. So we increase the size a little bit, move it to be closer to this place. Then we centralized. After this has been done, then we look at it, reducing the size, centralized. That is what we are trying to so after the centralization maybe we increase a little bit recentralized then we go into the color and give it a kind of a blue color so after that we copy then put in the gathering so after typing the gathering we are going to position the gathering here use our relative position to position it very well uh, gathering so this will be the best then close the space a little bit close the space a little bit so once this has been done then the next thing we need to do is to um close it a bit so the next thing we are doing is to generate something for ourselves but before that we are going to put in the team so putting it will say put the team the team topic is shake the nation shake the nations okay so once that has been done then we go into position that around the be the best then go to the font and select poppins font again for this so poppins font we increase the size to our text go to the color give it a color of your choice then 
give it color of your choice then the next thing we need to do after that has been done is to uh we're going to let um, the next thing is to go to the text area okay so after that has been done then we can now go to we can type that hostel knows about the swan okay it's the man, it's a so after that just type um that guy the guy 25th the way you type this you go to the font look for a better font that is not as bold as this so i'm going for poppy medium so then i will reduce the size then smuggle it and position it at this exact place okay reduce the size have its position around there then you can shift this towards the back so that this will be able to take place so after this has been done then the next thing we need to do is to reposition it very well then after doing that we need to create something from the for the background okay so uh, as i said we need to create something for the background so i'm going to type x so when you type x you go to put it in capital letter then go to the font so I'll go to the font then try to type um Matizera. Motizera, then let it be bold. Then we're going to increase the size. After the increment of the size, then we'll position that here. Okay, perfect. So now we copy, we'll position the second one. Okay, then we're going to check whether it can take the third one, but it won't. So instead, we reduce the size a bit after the reduction we copy let's change the color first better still for us to be able to have a proper alignment copy have this to be positioned here use the position error do the same thing here so now that you have the three at your in order so you can close the mouth why you close the mouth for this as well so now that we have everything set we'll go to, um, merge everything together reduce the size a little bit to this then increase the size a bit then just position it to the center now go to the color and uh, give it color of your choice so bringing in the image one after the other after this has been set so take it for instance and bring in this which is going to be at the right side so we are going to look at it and uh, this is cool so i will lock it and uh, use it to arrange this properly so we can bring this one down a bit so that we have something of this and i guess this is better so we're going back to our gallery again bring the second image position it at the left side then this is cool we're going back to our gallery again bring the third image then we'll position it at the center so to give us the exact things the way we want it so now that we are able to achieve this then the next thing we need to do is to we need to just use let's lock everything we have to clear the picture so turn on the sticker just continue placing continue placing this sticker 
continue placing it to cover this part of this image so i'm continue copy and placing copy and placed copy and until when that hedge is no more showing i prefer using this i might use gradient to blend it okay but now i'm having i've achieved what i want so once this has been done then the next thing i need to do is to put on the image and other stuff so but before then we can go into this having this particular image i want to use what we call um what we call eraser to make it look okay when you get to eraser increase it like this and you blur it like this so after that then you can just erase everything then to give you this you can position it to cover this part now perfect so after that has been done lock all the layer exclude to no one so once you achieve that we'll put in the name one after the other so i can copy from this image so luigi so i'll put all the name one after the other and clean so once i stress myself from one then the rest will be very easy so position it here then the next thing we need to do is uh, we are going to give it a black color then after that we position it here so once that has been done then we can close the space a little bit then position it to the center just drag it to this place after that has been done so the next thing is uh, copy then you replace the name with uh, another name Joe then you are going to drag and the position it here copy it again then we are going to replace the name to so put in the third name then position it here so after that has been done we are going to bring this a rough paper okay we are going to bring it here then reposition here now we are going to lock everything so after that has been done the next thing we need to do is uh so after placing this then the next thing we need to do is to copy edit it and then we have sunday 15 Sunday 15 September Sunday 15 September 2024 So we're going to increase the size and I have its position here Now we're going to copy that then edit So then select PHC PHC So we we'll position that here Okay after that has been done then we we'll put um comma Zaga 
So after positioning this, sorry, saga. So after positioning that, then the next thing we need to do is to just change the color to this to white. Have the color of this change. Okay, why the rest will be changed to let's see white. So once we are able to do that, we can now copy this edit. We will put um very close to railway station so copy this and uh, have it position here change the color okay so we have p x c p x c so once we are able to achieve that we are going to adjust then go into the shape and uh, half shape of this position itself so now we click ok change the color then copy any of the text will be of the best then put in the time the 4 pm gmt then we'll position it here after that has been done then we can put come and join us copy this space it a little then copy and put come and join us come and join us on a line then that will be it so we can increase the size to our text okay perfect now crop a shape that will be as a kind of a demarcation here position it well and you ensure it fitting so we have something of this nature so when you copy drag and reposition well then we have this nature and we are good to go so when you look at it this is how to design a church program flyer on android smartphone using your pc lab just make sure that everything is aligned properly so thank you for watching i believe we'll learn something from here god bless you